Hello everybody, this is Elijah Keating from Wisdom Seekers. This is my logo. If you want to reach me, please feel free to reach me on Facebook or Instagram. I believe YouTube. I've also talked to people on YouTube. Uh, or if you know me directly, come talk to me directly. I can give you whatever information you need. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, my website, again, is... Uh, I have to do something about it. i just not quite sure how or what to do about it. That's my problem. So I'm going to do some some work on it and see if we can move it to some place else. Okay. Having said that, this is for Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for April 24th, 2023. It's going to be... A, it, it seems to be a theme fire, earth, air, I don't know about water yet, but it seems to be a theme of, uh, of work, working with ourselves for, the, for our greater good. So the first card I got, which is a little strange, is the Two of Pentacles, but it's not a Patience card. It's a lot is ha occurring card. There's a lot of shifting and changing that is happening around us, so be ready for it. And we are supported, the Knight of Cups. That's a, that's a card of support. As I say, it's usually what I get in a really decent relationship. But it, but is a, it is a support card. It's, it you re helps you to remain in balance. It continues to change. But there, it gives you strength and knowledge. But what the cards are saying is, Air, you do have the ability this is the Seven of Wands. You do have the ability to deal with life on a really good basis. So feel free to continue doing that. Feel free to uh, to be self-assured and confident. I know no uh, most air are very logical. They get I know Libra gets uh, gets out of balance quite easily. But that's only in the lower end, lower end of the spectrum. As you go higher, that balance doesn't... You don't get pushed out of balance so easy. And most people who would be watching this are going to be on a higher spectrum of energy. So know that you're supported. Whether you understand what's happening in the energies or not, is it doesn't really matter. Because you will be presented with things as you can deal with them. And... Uh, What's really cool about that is the magician, right? The magician takes from above, brings it into the into the now, and shifts the now to a higher vibration, which is what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to lift ourselves up to a higher vibration so that we are more content, not content. I don't think air can be content. They like to see things happen they like to like motion they like like to continually chip away at an idea so we bring the energy from above down below and we will attract to ourselves that which we are and with we're on a spiritual path we will attract spiritual energy which will indeed make our life actually much better I was I was going to keep this for the last, but it does. It fits better here. The Sun card, and the Sun card to me is joy, joy like a like a steady thrum. It's not a high, it's not a low, it's not a high and a low. It's not. It doesn't waver. It's always the same, and that's because there's a knowledge that there is something that is there within us, for us that is constant and will not change and doesn't change through many lifetimes through many years through many months it always stays the same it is what gives us our power to move up or down in a spectrum and sometimes we do move down and then we just pull ourselves back up because we have this joy for guidance it's a it's a high it's a knowingness within ourselves that things are perfectly good. All right, and the last card is the eight, eight of pentacles. And I, and when I say knowing that things are, are perfectly good within us, sometimes life is crap. 
but even then we have this sense of okay there's something happening I don't know the outcome I don't know the reason it hurts really ha bad but I am got this solid grounding and I will be fine and that that goes for every level of life from birth to the end of life so the eight of pentacles again which is basically what we've been saying is your master craftsman at at your job you know how to deal with things you know how to work with things and these these two basically are saying the same things right now you know how to deal with situations in your in your life our life trust yourself that's what the big bottom line is trust who you are trust that you have done enough trust that you're willing to grow and change you don't have blinders on and if you do then step back find the third party per perspective open your perspective and just trust who you are trust what you get from the universe trust yourself so namaste namasko and i love you and you i do love